Hi everybody, it's Jessica from Chambray Blues. I'm back with another tutorial. Today we are making an eye pillow. This is a really old one um, that I made for a gift uh, for my sister years ago. And she brought it and asked me to remake it. And I thought I would share that pattern with you. Um, it's stuffed with rice and herbs. And it's one of those things you can warm up in the microwave and put on your face when you're trying to go to sleep. Um, lavender works really well in them or you can use other aromatic herbs um, but it's really very simple it's got an inside pouch that has the the rice and the herbs and as you can see this one is in sad need of repair um, and then the outside is made so you can take it off and wash this part of it um, this is full of holes and uh, we're going to make a new one today so I'm offering this as a free pattern on my website. The link is in the comments. It's basically just three pattern pieces. You will need um, just some scraps of fabric, less than a quarter yard of a um, couple different fabrics. I'm using one fabric for the outside and then a different one for the pillow itself uh, for the inside part. So we're gonna start by sewing the inside piece. I'm gonna turn my fabric right sides together. And we're going to sew around the outer edges with a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance, which is basically the width of the presser foot. I'm using a cotton thread, that's my preference, and um, a needle size 11, and a straight stitch at um, 3.0 on the sewing machine. So we're going to start at the top here. When you do the curves, you might need to pick up your presser foot and move the fabric every so often. And then when you get over the nose piece, you want to have like two stitches that are straight in a row before you turn for the next curve. Tack it at the end. Oops, wrong button. Okay, and that's what we have so far. So now I'm going to use my scissors to trim this. It's not going to turn very well with a big seam allowance like that. I'm going to trim it to a quarter of an inch. Just cut that off. Okay, and then around the curved edge here, we're going to need to add some notches because when we turn it right side out, the fabric needs to have room to move and um, it'll reduce the bulk. So you don't want to cut through the stitching just close to it about every quarter inch all around the curved portion. And you'll know if you don't have enough clips um, if you turn it right side out and you get bumps it's just not going to work. So then you need to go back in clip a little bit more. You can do this on the other edge as well. Okay, I think 
that's good enough. Now we're going to turn it right side out. You can see just pushing it out with my fingers, I get a nice smooth um, curved area there. So the next step is to press that and then you can fill it with your herbs. Uh, in this case, I think I'm just going to tuck this old one back in here and then I'm going to sew it shut. So I'm going to fold in a quarter of an inch all along the top edge and put a couple pins in there. To hold it you can press it if you prefer. That works better for you. You can um, hand stitch this with a slip stitch or you can do it with your machine. I'm going to show you how to use your machine to do this, to sew it shut. Okay, one more pin here. There we have it. So I am going to put this underneath my machine. I want to make sure my edges are lined up and I'm just going to sew from one end to the other with the salvage, the um, raw edges tucked in there and just close the opening with a top stitch. Once you get it started, it should go well. It's just getting it started. It's a little bit bulky to put underneath the presser foot. I'm lining up the edge of the fold with the inside of my presser foot so I get a straight stitch. Sometimes you can't quite reach in there. You might need a, a pencil or an awl or something to help line up your edges if you do it this way. I guess the pins are probably going to work a little easier. There we go. Don't sew over your pins, by the way. Always take the pins out. You break needles and ruin your machine. So there we have that. It is sewn shut at the top. You can clip your threads and the inside pillow is covered and ready to go. All right, now for the outside. So you can see the original one that I made had this little um, opening and it's just a fold of fabric. The edges are finished on the inside fabric pieces so that um, it just makes an envelope type closure. So we're going to do that first. We're going to finish one edge on this um, pillow back piece. Fold it over a quarter of an inch. Just use your fingers to press it down. And I'm using the inside of the presser foot as a guide uh, so I know how wide to fold it. First line of stitching, we're going to turn it over and fold it again and do that same thing again. So right over the first line of stitching. Again using the inside of the presser foot for a guide on the width. Okay, so that 
that's that. Now we're going to sew this to the front piece. So this will be right sides together uh, for the very top of this pillow. Okay, we're gonna stitch that. I'm using a half inch seam allowance at the top. Okay, you can press that as you wish. So that's what we've got so far. Then the next thing we have to do, I made mine a little bit too wide, so I'm gonna trim the edges a little bit here. There we go. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is sew the rest of the front together. So this piece will have to be um, hemmed the same way we did before because the two of them are going to overlap and make that envelope opening. So we're using a quarter width of fabric, a quarter of an inch. Just using a single needle stitch to hem it. First line of stitching, we're going to turn it again. So, one more time over the first row of stitching. Gives it a nice flat seam. So here, so this is where it may be a little bit tricky. So when we put these pieces together, we want them to overlap. You're going to match the bottom curve of the pillow because we have this um, bottom curve here to go around your eyes. We're going to match that. And there's a notch here for you so you know exactly where it should line up. But the other piece is going to be uh, free in the middle. It's going to be attached at the side and then open in the middle. So make sure you catch all three pieces when you stitch the sides together. So we'll put a couple pins in there. Okay, the important part is to line up the bottom with those curves. And you want to have the top edges fairly even. Okay, so now I'm going to start sewing this top side and sew all the way around the curves like we did before with the other piece. Might have to readjust them a little bit as you sew around the curve as before. When you get over the nose, it's helpful to do two or three stitches that are straight in a row before you sew down the other edge, around the other curve. Before, we're going to trim the seam, allow seam allowances here to a quarter inch. So you get a nice curve at the bottom. Okay. 
and then once again we have to clip these the curved area so that it turns easily You can use silk for this uh, project. You can use cotton. I'm using cotton from Riley Blake Fabrics. Um, Quilters Cotton works great. You could use a jersey knit. Pretty much any kind of scrap will work, but you want it to be something that's uh, soft and will be comfortable on your skin. Flannel would work too. So when you do your clipping, don't go through your stitching. Just little tiny clips in the edge of the fabric here. Okay, like so. Then we can turn this right side out. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. So this top edge, we're going to trim the fabric uh, at an angle so that the corner turns well. We don't have a lot of bulk. Um, left in there to give us a, a nice square corner and when you turn it to the right side if you take a pin and pull out the very corner you get a nice shape there we'll do the same thing to the other corner just cut at an angle not going through your stitching just close to it and uh, Trim away a little bit of that bulk will help. There we go, and you'll want to give this a good pressing too when you're finished. There we are. There's my, my cover, front, back. So you can tell there's a little bit of a pucker right here in the middle, and that's because I forgot to clip that part. So I'm going to go back in and clip that a little more. And that will help it lie flatter. Needs one more clip right there. There we are. What a big difference that makes. One little clip makes a world of difference. Okay, so give it a good pressing. And then you can tuck your herb, herbal insert inside here. You could even make a couple different inserts with different herbs in them. Like one with lavender would be nice for evening, for relaxing, and maybe one with peppermint is good for headaches and things like that. And there we go. That's the finished eye pillow. Makes a great gift for Valentine's Day. So I hope you have fun with this project. I will have more tutorials soon on my blog, um, Chambray Blues Sewing. And uh, check out my YouTube channel as well. Make sure and follow uh, for more projects. Thanks. Have a great day.